Let's face it, and you'll be the first to admit, amateur golfers make a lot of mistakes. But for me, this is the most important one and the main one that I see pretty much in my day-to-day -day of coaching right here. Before we start, don't forget, hit that link below to my website to get on the waiting list for lessons with myself here at Whittleby Park Golf Club. Now, there's about eight or nine different errors that amateur golfers make, but for me, here's the big, big one that amateur golfers make the most mistakes on. It's where that club hits the ground, or sometimes where the club doesn't hit the ground. So it's that low point control, and it's massively influenced how our body's positioned before, during, and after that golf swing. And here's the element, the one element that I want you to focus on, trying to make sure that you get that club to the ground where it should be. So we've got to make sure a couple of things are happening. I've got a seven iron in my hand here, and we need to make sure that on the way down to move this ball, we have to make sure the club is coming into contact with the ball and then the ground. We want that ball then turf compression. The club comes into the ball, the ball goes up and the club is slightly deflected down. To do that, we need a slightly descending angle of attack. That's what a lot of videos you've probably seen out there already talk about. That's that vertical transition on the way down, that angle of attack coming down. Think of a plane coming into land, it goes descending into that runway. Same with the golf club in relation to the ground. It feels like it's got to come in descending to get that lovely compression. And we have to do that by a couple of ways. The first things first, what you've got to try and make sure is your zip or your buttons on your top are in line with that golf ball. So if I drew a line down from my middle of my chest, my sternum here, my zip on my jacket, it's going down through the middle of that golf ball. I'm not set up behind. I'm not set up massively in front. I'm in line because what we've got to try and do on the way down then is what I call recenter ourselves. And that is the key to making sure that you get that club to the golf ball. And I want you to try this. So making sure to begin with, you're set up with your zip, your buttons in line with that golf ball. Take the club back as you, let's say you normally would do. But I want you to feel before you start your downswing, I want you to feel a tiny, and I mean tiny, bump towards a target. So I'm only taking the club back roughly three quarters of the way back. And I want you to feel a tiny little bump. Where, that's where you'll feel you recenter yourself coming into the ball. And then what happens from there? Don't think about this. This is just for your information. We jump up vertically using our lower body and rotate through. But I really want you to focus. That's just for your information. Don't try and do that at home. I want you to try and feel you're just gently recentering yourself into that ball. And therefore, you've got more chance of compressing as opposed to scooping. I see so many people trying to help that ball up in the air. Look at where I'm hitting the ground way before. That's no good to man nor beast. So what I want you to do, set up with your zip or your shirt buttons in line with that golf ball. Take it back as normally as you could do and just gently recenter yourself. Feel like those arms just staying up there just for a second, but you're just recentering yourself, pushing yourself just slightly, and I mean slightly, forward towards that golf ball to make sure you can compress that ball. So stay over the ball, gently push into it, and as a result, you've got that lovely ball then turf contact that we all absolutely need to play better golf.